The most fascinating study that I've ever heard of in my career was done in America. And it was taking place over a 70 year period. Uh, the investment was something like $400 million. And the research was to find out what it is that makes people happy. What it is, what are the characteristics of well being and, and what, what goes into that. And they whittled it all down really to one defining factor whether or not people had people in their lives and whether or not they had good social connections. Good social connections is the leading indicator of happiness. And yet, so often, when we're in the company of other people, we're not connecting to them because you know what? It's so easy, and I'll be the first to admit that I can do this, it becomes so easy to get riled up by their opinions, by their habits, by maybe even constantly being on their phone or whatever it may be. But you know what, I think the best way to ever connect with another human being and get that, that positive happiness, social impact on your own life is to accept them fully, is to be with someone that you find particularly difficult, but forgive them for it anyway. And when you do that, you notice a lightness and a playfulness and a sense of ease return to your spirit. And I think that's where we really start to feel connected with one another again. Because you know what, you know, we can, we all get into rows and just bickering and disagreement and, and that, that's life and that's okay. But you know what, we've got to draw a line at some point and say, okay, I just accept you. And when you accept others, you feel more connected to them, they feel more connected to you. And guess what? You get to feel so much more happiness too. So that's all from me today, my friends. Lots of love. Bye-bye for now.